This week on Whitetail Edge. Planning on playing a lot of errors this week. Hi, welcome to Whitetail Edge. I'm Ben Rising, your host, and this week we're headed to Iowa with team member Travis Hake as he takes down a monster Midwest Bruiser Iowa buck. Whitetail Edge, presented by Woodbury Outfitters. Well, this week we are heading to Zone 5, Iowa, and let me tell you, there's nothing more exciting than when you finally draw that Covenant tag. It took us like 17 hours to get in the camp, so that's never a fun drive, but when you get there, I can promise you, you're not going to be more excited than what you are when you finally get into Iowa. Now, we got to go find some giants. Well, not being able to be in Iowa very often, I'm going to take the first three or four days and do some scouting. It's never fun thinking about, well, I'm just going to scout for three, four days, but I'm telling you, it'll pay off in the end if you can just sacrifice a couple days, go look around, go check for some sign, go see some trails, hang a couple sets, and then it's game time. Well, here we are. They just got done picking this corn up here to the south. We have a south wind tonight, well, like a south, southwest, east, whatever is going on. This should blow us out over this hollow. I'm hoping these deer come up this fence line like they did last night and give me a chip shot. I know there's one good one in here. He's got real giant brows. I don't know how, I don't know how good he is, but he's a pretty good one. That's what I'm shooting for. I'm looking for a mature deer. I ain't really worried about the score so much. After Travis did his diligent scouting, he hung his stand in the perfect funnel. He realized after scouting where all these deer were walking through and he knew by looking at the aerials that at some point every big buck on this farm cruising for a doe would have to walk through this spot. Now we're talking early November, the bucks are on their feet. Travis hangs his stand, camps out, four days later he walks out of this woods with an Iowa giant. We have a front coming in. It's a uh... We're going to get some rain today. It's not going to get real cold, but there's rain coming in with some high winds. 
So, hopefully that does something to them. We're back here on, uh, on my private piece down below Centerville, Iowa. And we've seen one or two good bucks in here. So, hopefully one of them shows up this morning. We're sitting there and we seen some doe, seen some spikes, just little things, like three points of stuff, but nothing. And it's just like, man, here's just one of them days, just another day of just small deer. And all of a sudden we hear this Burr! And instantly, just like that, I mean, your hunt goes from, it might not happen to it might happen. definitely crazy blood soaked so yeah it's never a good feeling when you hit them back or put a marginal shot on them regardless of any you know, anything but at least that my best case scenario is I'm using a rage and I'm in a small piece of timber so that's what I have going for me so wish me luck I'm gonna just hang out I'm gonna get some stuff off and footage about a thousand more times and uh, yeah pretty much all I can do at this point is just give him time and wait so if you've ever hit a deer with a marginal shot or even a good shot that you don't see him die it's never a good feeling I mean you just always you stress on it you're gonna score like crazy amounts but that is a freaking false all right now we wait Well, as you can see, it is pouring down rain. I walked down in there a little bit, got on some blood, walked up through and it just started lightning and pouring. I was actually think, starting to think, hey, what the heck am I doing in here? And hold my bow and just everything else. Pretty much just even quit looking for blood because it was raining so hard. Walked up, up, walked up in there, looked in the creek bottom. He was laying in the creek, the freaking giant. Unbelievable. I just took my release off. I'm done in Iowa. Man, look at this thing right here, he lays. Unbelievable. That right there. Oh, is a just an old mature deer. Here is my Iowa Giant 2015. I was thinking 
We've been out here since Halloween, and it's the 11th today. And I jumped him up. I come in here and scouted. I jumped him up off here along his edge. And we weren't even sure what we had. I had Carl here. He left us hunt. And he's got a bunch of acres, but he's just got little pasture plots, like uh, timber plots. So there's, it's not like it's a bunch of timber. And we come in here, and I said, you know what? Let's just take our climbers in, get up on this knob, and see what we see. We got in, and we jumped him up with some dough. And all I seen was his brow tines at the time. And I said, you know what? That thing was a monster. And that's what I wanted to hunt right there. I want big, giant, burly bucks. I always say it. I don't care if it's a 12 point, if it's an 18 point, if it's a 6 point. This thing is a, he's a 7 point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He has a little nub here. He maybe might be an 8, but I don't even care. He could be a 5 point. When they're this heavy and just this gigantic of brow tines and the mass, I mean, look at the faces on that stinking thing. I'm thinking them things are like that. That is what I hunt for. And like I said, not everybody's the same. Not everybody cares about the, the big giant rack, or the mass, or the age, or anything like that. And that's, that's each their own. But for me, I'm a big fan of big giant Midwestern bucks, or even any buck that's just a big old mature animal. Hey, thanks for watching us this week on Whitetail Edge. I hope you guys learned something and tune in next time for the next show next week on the Hunt Channel, our website, whitetailedge.com, woodberryoutfitters.com. You can find us in all these places. Follow us on Facebook, and you can find me on Instagram. Thanks, and have a great day. Whitetail Edge is brought to you by Rocky, Hoyt, Big Tide, HHA Sports, Redneck Hunting Blinds, On Time Wildlife Feeders, Whitetails Unlimited, Advantage Ag and Equipment, Michael Waddell's Bone Collector, Black Widow Deer Lures, Hawk Tree Stands, Hunt From Above. Be sure to follow Whitetail Edge on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.